Okay, so in this one, we're going to build another loop. So I really just want to show you the sort of different variations you can get with the with the loops, and we can keep pretty much all the same um, setup as we've got. We use the same drums. We'll um, turn the sends down in all our channels because we want to put our effects on afterwards to suit the individual sounds. So we'll try and use maybe a couple of different drums. And I'll solo the kick again. I find it always helps if you solo the kick just to get the initial rhythm going. And this time, instead of extending the notes, I'm actually going to go into the drum rack and use the release on the drum hits to sort of extend the, the length of the notes. And again, for the thunder drum, we'll go in and find it in our samples and use the release time. And again, I'll, I'll double that up with one of the other drums. And um, we'll turn our quantize off and just move them slightly out. And um, we'll do the same with these. And um, we can sort of pan them left and right again.
Um, we can also do a couple of things. I'm going to just um, make like a triplet note. So if I change my quantize, I'll just turn it off. I can do this manually. Just make the notes pretty small. And in our velocities, we're just going to turn the first one down a wee bit. And what we need to do is in our drum rack, is turn velocity on on this channel. So we go over to our volume and turn the velocity up. And we can start adding just bits of reverb and stuff in as well now. Okay, so there's another wee example and I'll save that there for you and you'll be able to download that in the resource pack along with uh, a load of other ones. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at tune drums in Simpler and adding the Resonator plugin.